In this video guys, I'm gonna show you how you can copy a page created with Elementor from one website to another and also to sync all the further updates of this page. And here you can see that I have two websites opened in my browser. We have like this first website over here and that's actually our Elementor page. And we also have this second website which doesn't have any pages except this default one. All right, and let's go back to our first website and then we go to plugins. And I'm gonna use a simple WP cross posting plugin for that purpose. And uh, let's just go ahead and activate it. And we also need to activate this add-on specifically for Elementor. Guys, do not worry, I'm gonna leave a link to the plugin in the description below. And uh, what are we gonna do next? First of all, we need to connect these two websites. So we need to go to settings, cross post, and then two sites over here. And we need to provide site address, username and application password. It will take no more than one minute. So we need to go to our target website and then we need to go to our user profile. And here we can find that it is our username. So we just copy and paste it right here. And also we need to scroll down a little bit and here we can create an application password. Just like that, two clicks and here we go. And also let's type our site URL address. We can actually find it here in settings general like this. And on that, let's just hit this add new site button and our site has been added successfully. By the way, you can also edit this website over here if you want. So for example, I can rename it. And now let's go to pages. And that's actually our Elementor page which we are going to publish to our second website. So we just need to go to edit this page. And then we can select our target website over here in the publish on Metabox. By the way, here I'm using the classic editor, but if you want, you can use block editor as well. For example, I just have this classic editor plugin activated. I can deactivate it, go back here. And as you can see, now we have this block editor and this publish on section is also available in both classic and block editors. All right, so I'm just gonna select this checkbox and on that I just hit save. All right, let's just go back to our second website, to pages. And as you can see, our Elementor page appeared here and let's take a look. For example, we can just edit it with Elementor. And here it is. As you can see, we have some um, widgets missing. So for example, we do not have this specific uh, template over here. So it is not selected, but we have this template on our first website, right? and it is FAQ template. And why is that happening? It is happening because you also need to publish this specific template separately, just uh, one time. And it's, it is better to do before you actually copy in your Elementor pages. So I'm just gonna select this checkbox over here, hit update, and then I just go back to pages. Uh, let me just activate uh, the classic editor. It is just more convenient for me. All right, go to pages, edit, and then just hit update. On that, we go back here, refresh this page. And as you can see now, our template is available here. And by the way, if you make any changes in your Elementor page over here, for example, let's just uh, change heading, why not? something like this, <laughs> hit publish. All right, go back here. And as you can see, this Elementor page is updated on our target website. That's pretty much it, what I wanted to show you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, leave them below the video. Have a nice day.